my first point is utilize your village. You know, the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Um, that utilize those people um, during those hunting trips just to, you know, if it isn't to watch your kid, it could be to, you know, maybe pick them up or drop them off for daycare or even, you know, run and grab a couple things from the grocery store if you can't get out of the house or whatever it may be just to lift some of that again the load while while you're hunting and um for the I guess the person hunting I don't want to just say the husbands because I know a lot of women hunt too and whatever the case may be if you don't have that village available again we are very lucky and we have a great village that we utilize often and that yeah, helps my, my grandma lives to the west of me my parents live to the east of me and i'm talking about like 100 yards yeah. on each side <laughs> yeah and then my aunt and uncle live 100 yards from my parents on the east side yeah. of them so we got a like a talker uh, literal village, village. <laughs> yeah but, but anyway so i would say um to the you know the person that's going to be gone on the hunting trips if you don't have that village work on building one you know whether it be neighbors like a lot of people i know uh, anymore people don't I don't want to say settle down, but they don't live around family a lot of times. Um, and they may be the only, you know, the only people in their family, but um, reach out to your neighbors, people you work with that you're close to, people you trust to do those things and build that village up so that you then feel more comfortable leaving a home. And, you know, your wife will feel more comfortable with you leaving home as well because she has help. Um, one thing we, <clears throat> we do and this, this was before Huck was even born um, and Josh was traveling more for his, his job. Um, his grandma and I, we would have, we knew every time he was gone, one night that week was going to be pancake night <laughs> and we would have pancake dinners and I would go over there and I would bring, um, I would do the pancakes and she usually made eggs and sausage and stuff like that. And we'd have pancake night. Mm -hmm. And that just helped with me. Again, I knew what we were having dinner, having for dinner one night and it was you know, helpful. And we've kept up with that since Huck has come and that helps too, because then he can play over there while I'm, you know, I don't mind to cook it, but he has something to do. And, um, and it just gives some variation too, um, and gets you out of the house to do that kind of stuff too. Um, and that, again, that kind of goes into, um, if you're going to be going on a hunting trip, help set up the child care ahead of time. Yeah. Don't leave that on your partner to do it all. Um, again, like I said, I have a couple things throughout the week I like to do. I don't want to have to not do those while he's gone. So we try to find people to help, you know, watch Huck while I can go do those. So I can still get my, you know, especially the things I do, yoga and volleyball, they're very good outlets for when I, you know, you may feel a little overwhelmed or stressed and, um, and just getting, away with other adults is nice if you've been around a kid all day. So, yeah. um, I don't like to give those things up if I don't have to. So he helps me, um, before he leaves, we make sure we have all of that stuff set up and he, I mean, he will do a lot of that. So it's not all on me, you know, um, he's not burdening, burdening me with that because he chose to go on a hunting trip. Um, he knows like, Hey, if I want to go, I need to make sure I line this, line this up. And because we have that village, it, mm -hmm. it is easier for us, but you got anything to say on that before I move on? Not really. I mean, yeah, it's something I'm not like, I, I've like all this stuff is like stuff, stuff I've, uh, she's, uh, trained me to do for lack <laughs> yeah. of a better word. Like I used to be deplorable at this crap. Like yeah. we've, this has not been a perfect, like a perfect, uh, transition or yes, anything like that's a great point. It, yeah. It's all stuff that like we're, it's taken uh, time. Yeah, we've and... been mad at each other about this stuff before, you yes. know, communication um, is a big deal and it changes, mm -hmm. uh, as your life changes with the different seasons, like it's going to be different one year to the next. So communicating that um, and communicating when you're feeling maybe less appreciated or anything like that and yeah. figuring it out together on how to fix it is the only way to do it. You're not going to do it yourself. Yeah. Um, you, you've got to have both of you in it. So something else is like, if you're handy around the house is like, make sure that all that crap's done before season starts, you know, Yes. Um, at least the functional stuff, you know, uh, you know, if you got, if you got a wood stove or something, make sure you got plenty of wood for it. And, um, yeah, they don't do any of that extra little things, Mark, the yards mode Mowing, and yeah. yep, all that kind of stuff. Chores that are hard for, <clears throat> um, you know, your wife to do, make sure those are done before you, uh, start deer season if you can, or if you're, if you're in the middle of a bathroom remodel, don't start it in uh, September, you know, 
um, get all that stuff done beforehand. Yeah. Um, another big thing again, that helps me because I, I don't know, not an alone person, I guess. Um, when you're on hunting trips is check in whenever you can. Um, so that may be text, that may be video call, it may be whatever, even like sending silly things on apps, whatever you may do, silly videos and things like that. Just, just so they know you're thinking of them, but also, um, just to put our mind at ease, I like to know, you know, when you're, if you're going long distance, whenever you stop for gas or something, just say, Hey, I'm in wherever getting gas. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I may not be able to respond right then, but at least I see you did it. And even if you arrive at your destination and you know, I'm going to be sleeping, still let me know. So I can wake up. Yeah. You know, and I think I know like some of this it. stuff probably seems like obvious, but like as some of us as uh, men, like we don't, sometimes we don't even talk to anybody, you know, like we don't, we don't worry about things like that as much um, or don't think about it. Think about ourselves being like one people wondering where, what we're doing or if we're okay. Um, so just stuff to think about whenever you, yeah. whenever you are on a trip or something to, to check in whenever you can. Because the worst case scenario will be the first thing to come to your wife's mind. If she <laughs> yeah, doesn't I got to tell you. a story about a friend named Alan, which you guys won't know him. He's on Facebook or anything. I might mean, know who I'm talking about, but he's a, uh, he's an adventure hunter to say the least. Uh, I've mentioned him on here before, but he's killed like 47 big game animals in the 50 States. Um, uh, he went to Alaska a number of years ago and, uh, as he was getting on the boat to go wherever he was going, he dropped his phone in the water and, uh, you got to know Alan a little bit to think like, get this, but like, he just was like, ah, I don't need to talk to anybody anyway, <laughs> you know? And he just got on the, the boat and left and he was there for 10 days. And I guess he got back to the got back to mainland or whatever you want to say and got, uh, got a phone and stuff. And I guess he turned it on and he had like, like dozens of messages from his wife and they pro progressively got uh, louder and louder and meter and meter. So don't, don't do that. <laughs> he, uh, he admits that was probably not the best uh, idea, but pretty funny. If you knew Alan, you'd be like, Oh yeah, he, you know, he, yeah. that's, he would do that. But uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And I would say story. even, even during the trip, I know Josh is really good about um, even if he's in an area without service, anytime, say he gets to a top of a mountain or something like that, or a hill that's, and he yeah. notices he has service, he'll just send me a text and let me know, Hey, I don't have a lot of service out here. I'll text yeah, you that, when that I can. That is a hard thing. That's some, some places. Like yeah. when I was in Ohio, I didn't have service right. very much. And that, but that way I know, okay, so don't expect him to call before bed tonight. Don't, yeah, you know, let him know if you're not going to be in contact with him. For exactly. A while. Um, something else is, I, well, not, cause I've been on some pretty remote hunts, uh, different times in my life. And I, I did buy like one of those, they're called Garmin in reaches or satellite phones. You can text pretty much anywhere on those. Yeah. Uh, they're not real. They're not user friendly by any stretch of the imagination, but they at least get you a, a message out to someone telling you you're okay or checking in on them. They're expensive and the plans kind of rape you um, monthly. But if it, if it's something that they, you know, your, you need or your wife needs um, it's not a bad investment. It also, you know, if you're out, someplace real remote you can there's an sos button on it you can push and people will know where you're at or the local um rescue teams will know where, where you're at go ahead sorry no you're fine um kind of my last thing i have for the longer hunting trips would be um when you come home it doesn't hurt to bring home a treat uh i know oh, I, yeah. I like wine or chocolate <laughs> um or just it, i mean anything just to show appreciation that like you know i i see mm -hmm. that it's work when i'm gone and i appreciate you doing this so that i can enjoy you know enjoy my hunts mm -hmm. um or obviously like or take her to dinner or do you know do something different um or take the kids and let her go do her thing if she's into that so um yeah I that goes the, a long way that goes I, a long way to show appreciation yeah a lot of like a trick for a kid like because i like to take bring huck something home like i'll just go to freaking goodwill where i'm at <laughs> yeah you can buy toys there for like a dollar and they're like they'll be 30 dollars at walmart you know and he doesn't care you know he's just gonna take them apart and destroy them anyway so yeah a little trick for you if you don't want to spend 30 dollars every time you go hunting yeah um for a kid toy or something go to goodwill and pick one up yeah i wouldn't do that with your wife though i think she'd catch on pretty quick but you could buy me a five dollar bottle of wine. I, sure, they're, yeah. Oh, they're more than that now, but used to be five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> or chocolates. Hey everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.